Greetings golfers, from Duffer to Driver here, and today we are going to challenge ourselves to play differently. I've taken advice from YouTube viewers and come up with three rules for this challenge round. No hybrid, no driver, and no practice swings. The idea is to only use irons, and instead of taking practice swings, just hitting the ball. Let's see how we do. We are opting for the six iron from the rough here, as we still have a ways to go. Unfortunately, we go left, and I should have taken into account the slope that I was standing on. Okay, so this is 80. 80 to the hole. So 80. Flags up close. Let's use a full on gap wedge. The second hole is a long par 5 that at first goes right and then it's a straight shot for the green. The tee shot is essential here for a good score. Pretty consistent with that iron. Yeah, that's funny. That's usually where my drive goes anyways. <laughs> Now we have an awkward lie here, which will make this a very tricky shot. In hindsight, I should have used maybe a 7 iron just to get myself back on the fairway. This goes way left into the rough. Now I've had a few lessons which have really helped my ball striking and has improved my confidence to try this challenge. Here I make the assumption my 6 iron cannot reach the green from this rough. Right in the bunker. Now it's time to pay for those mistakes. I'm aware that grounding your club in a bunker is a penalty now, but at the time of the recording, I was not aware. This is going to balloon my score anyways. Uh, we'll be getting the maximum score for this hole regardless. First time I've ever hit someone's ball on the green. We have ball markers, but rarely use them. I was so far away from the hole that I thought there was no way that I could hit her ball. Tanya misses right, and then I do the same. I should have paid attention to how her ball traveled. Alright, it's time to turn this around. Our friend the 6-iron hopefully won't let us down on this hole. And it looks like we are going to finally hit the fairway, which will help a lot on this long par 4. So still quite a ways to go, but a 6-iron should actually set us up for a decent approach, even if that approach will be over the water. I'm aiming close to the tree to avoid too close to the water. Those turkeys? So one thing I'm starting to notice is that not taking practice swings is giving me more confidence. My swings are better and have more purpose. Nice. That's true. That's on. I hope 
it over the water. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Enjoying the video so far? Please make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. So here I hit the 9 a little too good, and we end up in the back bunker. Now remember, it took me three shots to get out of the bunker on the second hole, so here I'm obviously going to overcompensate for that error. Go backwards at 33 yards from the hole. We end that with a double, but considering our disaster bunker, a good recovery. A solid six iron hit. At this point in the round, I'm really starting to see the benefit of not using my driver. Accuracy over distance. So my course usually has a lot of geese, but for whatever reason, today there's a flock of turkeys following us around added hazards. So 194 using my 6 iron. I'm expecting this to fall a bit short so I can lay up. That bounce up on the green? Nice! Hells yeah! Let's go for birdie! Four. I guess I'll do seven and I'll do a seven. So I make the right Hold choice down. by not defaulting to my six iron here, as I did find myself in the rough. Now, even from this camera angle, you can tell that I'm aiming this way too far right. I'm not sure how I misread this slope so badly. So my bad putting here gives me a double, but it happens, and we move on. So today is the forward tee for this particular hole, forcing us over the water. So it's time for a hole-in-one competition. <laughs> um, it's 
good. It might even okay. be over. Oh, wow. Holy shit. I think it should go with the uh, eight or nine. What'd you hit? Seven. And seven, you hit an eight ten, it's ninety seven yards. I know, but like So nobody got a hole in one, but at least we're putting for birdie. And now for my least favorite hole, the really long uphill par five. So how will not using a driver or hybrid affect my score here? We got 200? We're 200? Oh, we are 200. Okay, so six. Why not? Six through the trees. Now, obviously, six through the trees is not the best decision here. Sometimes I have a hey, why not attitude with my shots, something I should really work on if I want to get better. And I actually shoot through the branches here. Okay. Wow, okay, I'm way left up there. <laughs> way right. So here I'm thinking of using my six iron to chip it in front of the green since I'm under a tree. Yes, I take a practice swing, but the ball was on some hard ground and I didn't want to damage my club. So my friend Tay's joke was actually pretty funny, but it honestly feels like that sometimes. You'd be playing terrible, then be on a hot streak, only to hit some terrible shots or fall back on some bad luck. It's just part of the game. Now I think I'm surprised here because all of my six iron shots today in the rough haven't worked out. So what do we learn with this challenge? Well, I learned that I'm a lot more confident hitting my iron off the tees, and most of the places where I lost strokes today was actually putting. I think it just proves to show that you don't have to whip out the driver or hit long to play well. Using irons only will force you to think differently and more strategically with all of your shots. Even then, I found this round I relied too much on my six iron when in tricky situations, and the grabbing the biggest club is a bad habit that I'm trying to break out of. I hope that you've all enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment about your own experience and make sure to like the video and subscribe for more content like this. I'm from Duffer to Driver and I'll see you on the course.